Okay, you got it. You gotta show me a picture of her. I'm so excited for you. Let's hype this. Glass half full or half empty By my side, want you and me Could never be the one to leave You initiated what we got Look to the spot Even if my engine shut I'll get up on my seat and walk You got me feeling like I won the lotto On the way back, we could grab gelato On the ride home, I'll avoid the bottles Rains it, boys gotta dance in the puddles I like you What I might do, might do, yeah I might call you mine In the, in the now, cause we can't rewind Wanna be with you all the time Okay guys, so what I added new into my routine is adding electrolytes. So electrolytes really help me like stay hydrated because like I tend to like get like this whole week I've been getting like headaches because like I've been dehydrated and like also like I've just been exhausted. So electrolytes just help you be hydrated and also in the morning like you haven't drinking water for eight plus hours, right? So then you need to hydrate yourself, rehydrate by drinking a lot of water and adding electrolytes into it just helps with that because electrolytes and electrolytes are basically um, just like ions dissociated in water and the science behind that will be right over here and I actually take very less electrolytes I, I just can't like stomach it at, um, at like, like a high volume so then I just like take like one sixth of this the packet and put it at the bottom of the cup then since i can't take cold water in the morning or else i got a sore throat i put some hot water mixed with some cold water so it's like a mixture very little like that much and then i'm gonna add some more hot water to it and then some cold water water to like kind of balance that out because it might be a little bit. and then this is the fun part i take one of my bamboo straws that i got from daiso and i drink it <laughs> this is like a mango flavor but honestly it tastes okay like when i first tasted it like i didn't really like it because it has stevia in it and it's uh, stevia is like artificial like sugar and honestly i'm not too much of a fan of stevia i could taste it immediately so it's okay at like low quantities but like that's why i can't eat this at like i can't drink this at like a whole like jug of water like no i can't <laughs> The first time I started drinking electrolyte, I put it in my like hydro flask, like <laughs> yeah. And then I like drank like a, a little bit, and then I, w I had my like face out to like time my converse, and then like it just like came out like. <laughs> so that's why I don't like to chug like too much water in the morning because I know that I'm just gonna like regurgitate it back. <laughs> so that's not a good idea. And then also like it's not a good idea to like drink and like consume a ton of like food before you work out because you might vomit it because you're moving a lot and like it's just not good. For at least for me like when i used to swim and then i used to like eat a ton of food before that while i was doing my sets i could feel the food like coming up <laughs> yeah that's not fun so just like be mindful of how your body is because everybody's different i know my body prefers not to drink and consume too much before working out i like to take it at sips so like between my sets i'll drink a sip of water here and there and then after i will eat and i will hydrate and like hydration is something that i'm trying to focus on because again i've been getting headaches and it's been mean time and water is so good in so many areas it's like i feel like the only thing that it gets credit for is making less bloated but while that is like somewhat true it's also like clearing up your skin so many other things and keeping your organs functioning like your body is 70 percent made up water so that's why it's so important to drink so much water as you guys can tell i'm like i stand like I need to like defrost. Also like it's really loud right now, but I'm still gonna talk. So I'm gonna tell you guys about my workout. So my body's feeling a little bit sore like in my back. 
because I did a glute and hamstring workout on Thursday, so my back is a little bit sore, so I'm gonna focus on going light, and then tomorrow I'm gonna go heavy for my leg day, so I don't wanna get too sore in my back. I'm gonna like focus on like basic movements, like lat pull down, pull ups, not too much weight. Okay, I just moved to the gym, and it's 5.40, and I'm, and I'm gonna be honest, I usually don't make it this late. I usually make it like 5.15ish, but I guess like filming took longer, so just for context, like it doesn't take me one hour to get ready for the gym. stuff i got a lot of snacks because like i noticed that we were kind of like running out and also my hair is really messy but and i put oil in so it kind of looks oily and messy but like it's okay because i'm gonna wash it yeah so i got a lot of snacks and recently i've been liking like fruit like i i love cotton candy grapes so, like give me that and like i'll finish the whole box in less than a day like actually like my dad bought me cotton candy grapes and then i finished it in like a day i couldn't find them but i got cherries so i think those will um hit that craving and then i also got some other sweet snacks and the thing with sweet snacks is um that it's so okay to like get like food swaps like and like just follow your cravings but like if you feel like you want to lower the amount of sugar that you're intaking then maybe consider getting food swaps so the cookies that i have they have coconut sugar instead of regular sugar so it has less processed sugar so that might feel more nourishing to your body than if you had eaten a regular cookie and has like almond flour and like a bunch of other like cool ingredients and it's made with less ingredients so that's what i like about getting like food swaps that like you know what you're putting into your body instead of putting a ton of like random like oils and like chemicals and a rule of thumb is try to get if you are like getting like some like snacks and like just like anything that you're buying like protein shakes try to get those with the least ingredients or ingredients that you actually know so for the most part like i like to eat like homemade food and food that my mom makes because i 
I know exactly what's in it and then it, I like to bake stuff and like gingerbread muffins and like peppermint brownies like I like making those and like eating those because I know exactly what's in it so just be mindful of what you're putting into your body and also it's okay to eat whatever you want because at the end of the day it's your body and you choose what you put into it I have so much laundry to do right now, but I can't do it. Our washing machine is broken, so I have to wait until that's fixed. But it's okay, because okay, I'm gonna show you. Okay guys, I just finished eating breakfast and during the weekend, I wanna start like eating food without like looking at my phone or like having other distractions. I just wanna focus on the food and eating it. Cause like, I know like in the past, like I always like watch TV or like I'm answering, I'm applying, but like today I ate my food and then I waited to like go on my phone. So now I'm gonna dry my hair because I'm gonna take my dog on a walk. Obviously, this wouldn't be like a morning routine if I didn't do my weekend homework. So I'm going to start my English homework because it's easy and I just want to do something that's easy right now. And I think that this will help me get into the homework mood. So this is the Poet X and it's by Elizabeth Acevedo. And I'm really excited to read it, actually. We were doing a unit and like this is a required read now. And I, I'm glad because like I feel like she's all about uplifting like minorities and giving, giving them a voice because we watched like this video and she's talking about like how like she never saw herself as the main character and like this book turns that turns like people like her people like me like people who who feel underheard as a main character and i really like that and i'm so excited to read this Okay, I love this book and like I'm listening to an audio too so like you can like kind of like hear the rhymes and everything because like all these are like poems so like that's like super cool. I really think that this book will take me a while to read but I'm gonna like enjoy it and like savor it and that's something that like I kind of want to do this year is like read books a little bit slower so I can actually retain it for longer. Like I feel like with the, with some books like I'll just read in a few days and then I'll forget about it but if I take longer to to read books then the longer I'll be able to like remember what happened and like come back to it and like think about it. Oh, no, 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 no. 